to go paint that. Let's go. The sun keeps changing, coming and going, but I'm going to try to paint before I lose all the light. I think I'm going to go sit in that little cave so I'm protected from the wind. Welcome everybody. Before we start, I want to say a huge thank you to one of my patrons, Donald, who gifted me this Etcher Perfect Sketchbook and another Etcher A4 Cold Press Sketchbook. Both of them are absolutely wonderful and I wanted to share the experience of trying it for the first time out in the field the special thing about these sketchbooks is that they are 100% cotton and it's pretty hard to find a really nice 100% cotton sketchbook on the market um, and these are quite pricey in my opinion so I never bought it myself but I was just floored when I received it in the mail as a gift so I hope to share lots of pages from the sketchbook with you guys in the future. For today's video, I thought it would be nice to just share the experience of the sketchbook, but especially just being on the coast with the sounds and the sights. And luckily I found this little cave that's a little bit more protected from the wind, so we won't get any big gusts of wind, hopefully. But yeah, otherwise I just hope you enjoy the experience. Before I started painting, I realized I should probably swatch out my colors so I know how they dry, or at least how they look on this paper. The colors on my palette are Neutral Tint, Anthraquinone Blue, Ultramarine Finest, Thalo Sapphire Blue, Helio Turquoise, Thalo Green, Pyroline Green, Diopside Genuine, Serpentine Genuine. A couple of the swatches were off the screen, I apologize for that. We have Hansa Yellow, a custom purple that I made. Then we have Quinacridone Magenta, Pyroline Violet, and then onwards to Potter's Pink. Then we have English Venetian Red, Quinacridone Burnt Orange, Yellow Ochre, and then finally Hansa Yellow Medium. So my first impressions of the Etcher Perfect sketchbook was overall positive. 
It had been so long since I had used 100% cotton paper outside, and I guess I forgot how long the paint stays wet on this paper. I work so quickly when I'm outside, and I always get used to how fast my non-cotton paper dries, so this really forced me to change my strategy on the fly. So instead of doing multiple layers of paint uh, or glazes, I used my wet into wet technique and then played with my pencils and gouache and pen, and I guess this resulted in a much more loose and expressive piece. And in the end, I think it suited my subject and my mood. Uh, and it allowed me to play with multiple materials on the paper, so I had a lot of fun. <laughs> Compared to my little homemade arches sketchbook, the perfect sketchbook feels so sturdy, and that is a huge plus for me. I think pretty much any watercolor artist agrees that the benefits of 100% cotton paper are worth the extra expense, and at this point I'm sort of kicking myself for not trying this sketchbook sooner. Plus, I am a huge sucker for texture, and this cold-pressed paper has plenty. I get really excited thinking about the possibilities of this sketchbook, and not just with watercolor. Since I'm going to the Isle of Skye soon, I'm already planning out what materials I want to bring and how I want to play with it on this paper. The name Perfect Sketchbook is a pretty bold claim, but I think this one definitely is up there with the best of them. I hope you guys enjoyed going on this journey with me, and I'll see you again soon. 